Hey, Joe here. Looks like Vic at Bradenton Motorsports Park got Adriana into the private testing that's happening there today. So I'm gonna run over there and see if I can catch something cool happening. What do you got there, Tom? Pick up that 60. 60 foot time, what do we got here? 1295. Damn, dude, look at that. FP Black. Um, hey guys, so I finally, well we finally did, I shouldn't say I, but we went 889 at 152 miles an hour and had a 12960 foot, which is insane. It's a 59 millimeter, completely bolt on turbo, didn't have to change anything, just bolt right in, factory manifold and everything. So, uh, therefore it's a bolt on turbo, so I have the world's fastest, still world's fastest, world's quickest, FP Black bolt on uh, turbo DSM. So I'm really excited, I'm really happy, and if I weren't for my whole team, I wouldn't have been able to do this. So thank you to the guys at Force Induction Pros, thank you to the guys at MB Fab for keeping me safe, thank you to Robert for producing an amazing turbo, and uh, thank you to Kevin Jor at Six Sigma Tuning for always being there to help us and bounce ideas off of as far as the tune goes, and thank you so much to Joe Wrenches for always coming to the track and documenting this with us. So thank you guys so much, and the car's only going to get faster from here. Here with Adriana Noonan at Bradenton Motorsports Park in her FP Black Power DSM. This is a bolt-on turbo on this car and uh, she's attempting something that some people think is impossible. So this car is a street car on DOT tires. It's tagged and insured. Let's take a look inside. Adriana, you can tell us about uh, the car and what you got going on here. Um, so we still have door panels on both sides. We have pretty much all interior panels minus where we couldn't put stuff because of the cage. We still have the bottom half of our back seat. We still have stock dash, stock steering wheel, stock center console, everything. <laughs> all right. So 
what'd you do there? What kind of changes did you make to get that kind of ET improvement? Well, we added nitrous, basically. We used nitrous to get on the converter. It's a 50 shot, but it shuts off right before our set two step. Um, so it's not on the nitrous once it's on the two step. Uh, we decided to turn the nitrous on down the track. Basically, it still uses that 50 shot to get on the converter, shuts off 100 RPMs before the two step, and then I have it come back on at, I have it set at 12 miles an hour. It kicks back on and shuts off at 120 miles an hour. It's only on through the eighth. Um, and it picked up a, a solid two tenths. Nice. Yeah, that's a good improvement there for a 50 shot. I did take out a degree of timing and lowered the boost one pound. So how to feel with that extra 50 shot to the eighth? Um, it felt great, you know. Uh, the launch that time felt like it was a little bit more controlled. I still felt like I was fighting it a little bit, but it could have just been me just wanting to make sure it went completely straight and I could get the best time out of it as possible. But uh, car felt straight, car felt good. Uh, the 50 shot, honestly, is such a small shot, so it's not like it kicks on and you know you you all of a sudden feel it. So it didn't feel it didn't feel like all of a sudden I you know I sprayed you know 250 shot or something like that. You know it's just a small shot. So really that when the nitrous came on, I didn't really feel it. But as far as the pass itself, everything felt clean and safe and straight. Perfect. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, all right, guys, that was a fun and productive day at the track. Congrats to Adriana and Tom and the whole team there on what they have accomplished. Very impressive. They really put some cheese on it, if you ask me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Put cheese on it. <laughs>